You're going to use a computer at an internet cafe. The cafe has an initial charge of $10 to use a computer and an additional charge of 80 cents for every minute of use. Okay, write an equation for C in terms of T. And again, that's Y in terms of X. So we know that the C is the Y and the X is now T. So when we write the equation, Y equals MX plus B, just filling in the blanks, I now know what Y and X represent. Y is C, the cost, the total cost for, of using a computer for T minutes at the internet cafe, told us right there in the problem. All I need then is to fill in my slopes here and then the Y intercepts, but they're gonna match. Uh, again, I'm just showing that the format is now changing the letters. So what do they tell us in this problem? Well, they said that there is some kind of initial charge. And again, there's that word initial. That means that it's some kind of starting value. So they're going to start by charging you that 10 bucks right there. And since this is all cost, we're going to add that $10 in. <clears throat> and then they say, look, you're going to, they're going to charge you 80 cents for every minute. And again, that's a unit rate for every one minute. So since we know we have found a unit rate, we have also found the slope, which is 80 cents, which we're going to keep as 0 0.80 for both equations. Okay. So this one, again, just to save time here, I'm not going to rewrite this one, but again, you could rewrite it as 10 plus 0 0.80t if you'd like. This one or the other one is the one they want. Okay. So this one was nice because they gave us the slope and the y-intercept directly in the problem, so we just had to fill it in. And if we can get used to that, then we can do well not only on the assignment, but on, on uh, the test.